I think, yeah, I always learn uh, all the time in, in the league, whether you're a player or a coach or a GM. You look at your team and you think, well, you know, we, we need to improve this area and improve that area. And, you know, so yeah, 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 I always, but yeah, there's, there's the, you know, that's, we're in the process of doing that now, talking to all the players, um, you know, talk to all the coaches and, you know, try to, try to formulate something, a plan that, that can get us over the hump. Uh, we got close, but, you know, uh, we weren't able to, weren't able to extend the Golden State Series, and that's what we wanted to do. So what are those areas that jump out? You know, you know we didn't rebound the ball well. At times when we did, we were very effective. Um, I think we have to have more ball movement, body movement, uh, to attack teams that are going to kind of play a certain strategy against us. And um, and then you know part of it is you just got to get lucky and get everybody healthy too. I mean, you know, a healthy Nemo gives us a different and different look. A healthy Patrick gives us a bit of a different look. But you know, there's 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 we're going through a lot of things that we can do better. Is it always a, like a learning process when teams have to kind of take a couple <coughs> steps on, on their way to? Not a always. I mean, sometimes you can do it together, but you know, a lot of times it is. I mean, there are times that look at this. You know, this group fought hard. We just didn't. We couldn't. Like I said, we couldn't extend the series with Golden State, which we wanted to keep putting game pressure on them. Uh, but we had three games inside of that series. I thought that could have gone either way, and um, you know we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we need to get at least one of those to keep that keep keep it going to keep extending. And a couple of them, all the pressure changes. James handled the ball so much for you because that's basically what you wanted him to do. But moving forward, would you like to try to alleviate that a little bit more? Well, I think he has to move more without the ball. I think he's got an area of growth that. He can really work on, and we talked about that. And I think you know he's he'll get better at that. You know, James has improved every year he's been here, and uh, you know that's that's got to be something that uh, we help him with, and something he can help himself with. But yeah, I, I do I do think that uh, off the ball um, for him would help him, and uh, which means we got to get we got to get more movement, more 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 body movement, more ball movement. He's got to get off the ball. You got to play off the catch a little bit quicker. Got to play off our actions a little bit quicker. But there's all things. There are, those are all things we can do. Where did you see the team progress the most this season? Uh, you know, I thought that defensively we were better. I thought Trev gave us a huge identity defensively. Put him on a lot of different people. Josh and Brew came in and gave us uh, uh, really two guys that could change the game very quickly. And uh, you know that's important to have those guys that can change the tempo, can change the just change the complexion of the game. Um, yeah, I thought we were just we were we were a good solid team. I, you know, I, again, I'd like to have seen us at full at full uh, strength, but we weren't at the end of the year. We weren't for most of the year. Uh, you know, Dwight had a bizarre year where he was out on and off, on and off, but he had a phenomenal playoffs for us. And James had an MVP type caliber year, which is you know those don't come along all the time, but. We've got, like I said, we've got areas that we're looking at to improve on. Would, you like, to, would you like to see the core group of this team back together to be able to go through an entire season together? Yeah, I mean, I think y'all would like to see the core group of your the core group of this successful team come back together. And yeah, I mean, I, 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 I really like a lot of the, like the guys on our team. Uh, I think, you know, we had really good minutes out of Clint Capella late in the year, which I think you can parlay that over a summer of work into you know, being a real factor for us and you know, rebounding, blocking shots, running the floor, finishing on the basket, so many different things he does well. So I think there's, we had enough young guys. I think, you know, Terrence, is, you know, his first year was in the D League. Last year was his, really his first year. And then this year, you know, he was hurt for a long time. So really, you know, he's probably got a year and a half of NBA experience, and, and TJ can get better on that. And so, you know, getting Demo back healthy. So, I mean, like I said, a lot of things we can do, but I like to get like our group. I mean, Kevin GM had on how difficult would that be just to try to keep this core together because you know it is a business. Yeah, no, I hear you. I mean, it, it's going to require some work, but believe me, Daryl, you know, Daryl puts his time in. He's going to do everything he can to try to, you know, put the best team on the floor. Uh, you know, I mean, we have some options that we can do some things in the summer uh, to try to improve too. But I think, I think getting back the, the core of this group is. Uh, it was a good start. Kevin, what are your thoughts about the fact that uh, Dwight's fouls upgraded to a flagrant? So it's going to cost him the first game of next season, regular season. You think about that leaking over in the face. Really? Is it still May? You're asking me what I'm going to think in October? Well, not about game one, but the fact that the penalty now affects you for the regular season. 
I'll think I'll think about that in September. <laughs> I don't you know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I guess he'll. I didn't well, know you that. Well, you had a thought that in the playoffs, you thought that every series it should start over. Yes. I don't table. like the rule, but they, they, you know what? I, I don't know if you notice this. They don't ask me to make rules. They they. I wish they would. Some rules would be different. <laughs> Are you still trying to get over what happened uh, last? Yeah, you know, it's always you know the season ends. It's always one of those things where, uh, you know, it's a. Uh, it, you know, it's just one of those days where, you know, they're cleaning the office, getting everything set up, looking to next year. But, um, you know, I thought the guys played hard all year. I thought it was, it was a fun year to be around them. Uh, we were able to get to the Western Conference Finals. That's not enough for us. We want to get better. But, you know, end of the end of the year is always end of the year. How special what you've accomplished with you and the players talk about what it means to play for you because of what you've accomplished and what you can teach and help them. So uh, talk about that. I, you know, they're good guys, man. They, they we've... You know, it's like every year you go through ups and downs, you keep on telling the guys just got to keep fighting, and they did a good job of keep fighting. I was proud of the guys that they, you know, when our backs were against the wall, it's usually when we came out swinging the hardest, and that shows some character. And we didn't have any really long winning streaks this year, but we, but more importantly, we didn't have any long losing streaks, mm -hmm. and so that shows the character of the guys. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. No